right, we're back with the uh, 18N and the 14N. The 18N being mine and the 14N being a viewer here on uh, YouTube's that I was doing. And the previous video I drilled out and pressed the uh, arbor out on this one. Well, since then we went and got a new arbor for it with the correct taper on here for that and that 2M, the two number two Morris taper. And uh, he was going to order it on uh, online and buy it online, but we have a tool guy here that's old machinery and everything, uh, Hannah Tools. If you're ever in Vegas, please check them out. Uh, he's got some really cool stuff, and it's like time hasn't patent changed that place. And uh, that's where also where I bought mine from. And it's just it's just really nice being able to just pick something like that up in town, especially here in Vegas, because it's not very industrial, so when that guy's gone, you know, who's going to replace it? So I always try to spend my money there instead of uh, buy it from somebody on eBay or whatever, but that's my small rant. Just wish that there was more places like that. I think I was born 100 years too early, or too late, I mean. But anyways, um, I took mine in the back apart just so you guys could see that and uh, size comparison to out of the 14N and the taper like this is a number four so I, I probably that's a number two Jacob, Jacobs I don't know the box wasn't labeled we just kept putting them in there but uh and that has the number two Morris taper and that also does so I was gonna press it in with my uh, arbor press that I acquired about a month ago, I uh, actually got it for free. The guy had a DeLorean and needed some work done on it. Well, I guess I didn't get it for free. I traded some work for it. And uh haven't really got to use it much, but I did some bearings in my drill press. And uh, it's really nice having the arbor press. And I, mean, I guess I'm kind of using it for what it's really made for here. But uh, I was just going to make a video, show you that. And uh, I also, I took some brake clean and cleaned these clean and cleaned all inside. I don't know if that's really needed or not. But uh, so there's nothing inside, no dirt or anything in there. So it won't ever, won't ever spin and it'll lock in there tight and straight. But uh, here we'll press them in now. Okay, we're at the arbor press now, and uh, you want to close these jaws so that you've got your flat face here, not press it on the jaws because that'll probably ruin it. But like I said, I cleaned all inside of here, and I also cleaned the taper right here for it. And uh, I mean, I'm sure it doesn't take much pressing force on it, so. That one fell right in, and it's that one's done. So let's do the 18 end now. Same as the other one. Make sure those jaws are open. They're closed in all the way. And I also clean this one also. And just a little press. So it's in there. And uh shouldn't go anywhere now but another size comparison it's big but uh well, I hope this was helpful for somebody else and uh, I'm sure you can just use a hammer and hit that down and it would still do the same thing I'm sure that taper is there for to keep it and line it straight on its own but I got to use a tool for what it was for so that was nice and uh, well, thanks for watching